Izell's still thinking about that shooter he couldn't catch up to. Mainly, I wanted to get close enough to where I could get a real good identity, you know, where I could take my finger and I said, yeah, he did it. Mike Tolbert, CBS 47 News. And if you know anything about this case, you were asked to call Crime Stoppers. There's a number on your screen, 866-845-TIPS. Remember, you don't have to leave your name. Two drivers now in the hospital after a police chase along Roosevelt Boulevard. Troopers say cops were chasing a pickup truck when the driver, Frederick Dutton, decided to change lanes. Police say the driver actually clipped the JSO cruiser and then ended up hitting a car waiting at a red light. Both of the drivers were taken to the hospital. The officer was not hurt in the pursuit. Now, your CBS 47 First Alert weather forecast. What a gorgeous day today. All the sunshine, high temperatures up around 80 degrees, very little wind. It was picture perfect. First Lord Doppler is still all quiet now. Northeast Florida, southeast Georgia. Kind of busy, though, up to the north of us along the coast of North Carolina into Virginia. Tornado watch box up there, but again, here locally, things are all quiet and it looks gorgeous out there. Skies mostly clear with a bright, beautiful full moon and temperatures that are quite mild. 61 at the airport, 66 out at Mayport, 64 Arlington in the south side. Still reporting a temperature of 70 in a quiet pattern right now. We'll talk about how long that'll last as we look at the next seven days which features a bit of a temperature change. Details on that in your full first alert forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Doug, thanks. Pope Benedict the 16th now on his way back home. He just boarded a plane bound for Rome following a whirlwind six day visit here in the United States. His final two stops, Ground Zero and Yankee Stadium. CBS 47's Terry Okita takes a look back. One final wave ended a historic week for Pope Benedict the 16th as he boarded the plane dubbed Shepherd One. His send-off at JFK Airport was fitting for a pope with Vice President Dick Cheney and thousands of followers. We love him. We love him with all our hearts. And to have him here this close is just phenomenal. The pontiff celebrated Mass Sunday with 57,000 in Yankee Stadium. He urged all Catholic followers to renew their day-to-day -day commitment to faith and the church. It means not losing heart in the face of resistance adversity and scandal. Throughout his six-day visit to the U.S., the Pope addressed the clergy sex abuse scandal several times, even meeting with victims from Boston. For many, it's brought about the start of healing. So if you read between the lines, he's basically telling the church.